Are you a B2B exporter competing in a market where people don't know your brand? Are you worried customers will look past your product because it's not local? These concerns are normal, but the good news is you can start to address these challenges with good online content. So let's talk about how to get it right and how to avoid giving overseas leads the chance to keep scrolling past your brand. A Kiwi door manufacturer, for example, struggles to generate leads in the USA. Their target customers were builders and construction companies who didn't want to risk using a supplier 8,000 kilometers away in New Zealand. Their marketing budget wasn't huge, so they had to get creative. The manufacturer decided to take videos of the team working with customers in the market and shared them on LinkedIn to show prospective customers that were actually active in the market and ready to deliver and serve new customers. And it worked. They were able to generate some quality conversation and leads. Your customer needs a good reason to pay attention to and trust your brand, and content can really help, especially when it's genuine. Let's talk about content strategies. We know it might sound scary, and we get it. They sound expensive, time-consuming, and might be totally unfamiliar territory. But there are some tricks to make them more achievable. The first step Know who you're talking to. Who are they? What are they looking for at each stage of the funnel? What are the obstacles and barriers they're dealing with? And once they've purchased your product, what might they ask you? All of this information will help you shape and target your content for offshore buyers, which is key as copying and paste what you publish in New Zealand often doesn't work. If you're a new brand in a large overseas market, a key opinion leader who reads a useful thought leadership post on LinkedIn might endorse your product if you give them something truly unique. If you want to create a great website, useful FAQs videos, white paper concept, social media or blog post, the content is probably already in somebody's head at your business. All you have to do is tap into that, but how? One of the simplest things you can do is a video interview with a clever colleague. To get the best out of them, ask them questions like, what are the first things our overseas buyers ask us about? What questions are we constantly getting from them? What challenges do we help them solve? With a digital tool like otter.ai, you can transcribe the entire conversation and you've probably got most of what you need to create a white paper, an opinion piece, and a few different social posts like that. That one video can be chopped into a few unique bits of content. That's just one idea on how you can take something already available within your own company, play around with it to generate content that builds your brand's credibility in the market. One Kiwi exporter, Celine Hanrells, did a LinkedIn blog post on the implications of the recent law changes in one of the export markets. The insightful content educated potential customers and was used for other social posts that were highly ranked. The best way to use your content is to think about how it will lead to the next step in the sales cycle. Help you rank well with SEO or get you the important endorsement from a key opinion leader in the market. The plan doesn't need to be complicated. Start with at least one article or thought leadership piece on your website so you can capture an email address if they want to download it. On social media, LinkedIn is the most common place for B2B thought leadership, but find out where your customers are hanging out online. There could be some more niche places to look at where you can share information, like a specific Facebook group. If you can get an opinion leader to repost your content, excellent. Not only will more people see it, they'll start to trust it. Be smart about it and be creative. It's about driving leads, showing that you are active and ready to serve the market and learning about what your customer does and doesn't engage with. For more information and help on exporting, please visit my NZTE.